Welcome to Havelina Showtime, your home for Havelina Athletics. Hosted by Chris Communication Sports Director Alan Harwell and proudly produced by the students at Texas A&M University in Kingsville. The Havelina Broadcast Network presents Havelina Showtime. Your journey to Havelina Athletics starts now. Hi everybody, welcome to Havelina Showtime. This is our second show. In case you missed it last week, we had our premiere edition in. If you're wondering what this show is all about, it's about Havelina Athletics, football, volleyball, you name it, we're going to be here to cover it every morning on Saturdays at 11.30 right here on KDF. Hey, we got our first game of the year tonight. Humboldt State's in town. It's going to be a good one. It's our, conf it's our season opener and the home opener as well. Let's get right to some of the practice footage from earlier this week. The players getting ready for the first game of the year. They've been on the field now for a little over three weeks now. And all the questions surrounding who's going to play quarterback, who's going to run with the football, uh, who's going to play defense, we'll answer some of those questions later in the broadcast. But what are the players feeling? How, what are their thoughts going into that first game of the season? Take a look. Saturday is a chance for us to go out there and be 1-0, uh, start our season off right and just get rolling in the right direction. Uh, just stay within myself. Don't try to be crazy and do anything outside the playbook. Just let everyone do their job and, and have fun. Um, last year's last year. There's a lot of guys, especially like myself included, that are, that are going to make plays for this team that were not around last year. So uh, last year's last year, this year's this year. It's been pretty uh, It's been pretty easy, you know. Coaches are helping us along. So just getting up early in the morning, going through the, uh, our discipline and our rules. But we got it flowing so far. Well, we wake up at 5, have to be here at 5.30 to get taped up. Then we're in a position, uh, team meeting by 6.20. Then we're on the field by 7. So then practice is 7 from 9. And then practice is, has anything to do with individual workouts, to conditioning, to teamwork. And it's always high tempo. Our defense is actually pretty good this year. They're looking to make a lot of noise for us. Uh, offensively, we just got to fix a little cobwebs. But we'll show you guys on Saturday. Uh, you know, every uh, everybody goes through obstacles. Just, you know, it kind of depends how you bounce back. So we're looking to bounce back this year. Completely different type of offseason than we did last year. Being that we didn't have a strength and conditioning coach in the summer last year, it just made a great difference. I think uh, team chemistry is above where it's ever been before. All right, as you can tell, the players are fired up. They can't wait. Again, game time tonight at 7 o'clock inside historic Havelina Stadium. We're joined now by a special guest. Mr. Scott Gines. Hey, Scott, how are you doing? I'm doing great. All right, you? Vice President of Athletics and R Recreation, right? That's correct. All righty, it's a fancy title, but you're in charge of a lot of things when it comes to the athletic department, aren't you? Uh, it works out that way very much. <laughs> First game tonight, you excited? Absolutely, uh, extremely. Havelina game day is a special thing. It's always fun to open at home as well, right? Oh, absolutely. Particularly for our, our fans, our students, our community. Uh, everybody's fired up, and uh, well, they should be. It's a big weekend. What people don't realize is that you guys have a lot of behind the scenes going on with scripting the entertainment part of the ball game. Not only do you have a football mm -hmm. game, but lots of entertainment goes on during, before, during, and after. Tell us a little bit about how that works. Well, absolutely. I mean, we've got a relatively small staff, but uh, they're, they're, they're veteran, they're exceptional, and they do a great job. But uh, they give you a slice of it. Every home game is filled with just uh, all kinds of promotions corporate sponsorships and, and events. Uh, we had a great uh, Havelina Hall of Fame induction ceremony last night, inducted three teams, 86 men's and women's cross country and 79 national championship football. Uh, we've got uh, a full tailgate, as you can tell. You know, we typically are gonna average six, 7,000 people out there. We've got uh, four reunions um, that, that are here this weekend. Uh, three of them, Gil Stanky coach teams, and one of them, Ron's Harms coach team, and uh, dedicated the uh, uh, Stanky uh, statue just a few moments ago. So that, that's just a quick slice of what's going on this weekend. Well, you know, I looked out in the parking lot. There's already a lot of people out there tailgating. Uh, mm -hmm. Rain or shine, they're here. This thing has gotten bigger and better with each and every year. You got to get here early, mm -hmm. I know, to, and to reserve a spot because you got to reserve a spot in advance, right? Well, uh, you can reserve them okay. if you will, but uh, uh, really, really, we design it for our students and, and our community. Uh, we you, we don't allow you to purchase in advance. Okay, so it's first come, you. first serve. All right, need to know, need to know stuff like that. So. Well, tell me a little about uh, uh, what really goes on behind the scenes. I mean, yeah, there's a ball game going on, but you've got right. people that are scripting out when 
something's going to take place during the ball game, whether it's Completely. an interview during like uh, uh, in between quarters or in between ball possessions, uh, signage, mm -hmm. you name it. I mean, it, it's going on. Well, we script all of our uh, to the minute and to the second, actually. All of our uh, all the things around the actual game on the field itself uh, deals with the have a vision. Uh, our Havelina Broadcast Network and, and uh, all their work there. Of course, we've got our radio crews that are scripting everything, as well as the events that go with that. Of course, during the game, we also have everything from Porky's Pack to our cheerleading yes. to our world-class um, Pride of South Texas marching band. So there are scripts within those yes. scripts that actually unfold and take and all, place. And it, and it all reflects uh, the public address announcer, what he has to say, has to time up the thing. Hey, what do you think of our uh, show here? Our new set? You oh, like it? Absolutely yeah. love it. I, I think, you know, we're talking about what goes on behind the scenes, and I think one of the most powerful things about Havelina Game Day, and it is renowned, really, uh, countrywide, uh, for the special culture and support that it enjoys, and the people behind the scenes who do that, but the key to it is, and I think the thing that really makes it work is the partnership. Yes. And this show is a great embodiment of all the many partnerships. There's two academic programs on campus that help us get to where we want to go to. Actually, I should probably say three. Our student athletic trainers would be the, the, the third one that just popped into my mind. But uh, out of our uh, art communication and theater department, the, the uh, crew, uh, faculty, students, and staff that are assisting with this show and the magic behind it, and then uh, also our sport business program. Yeah, uh, we definitely. enjoy about 35 uh, uh, mentees and interns there that get incredible on-the-job experience. Scott, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. I'd like to have you on the show again later this year, okay? Well, I'd love to do that. All right. I'll see you at kickoff tonight, okay? Thank you, Alan. All right. 7 o'clock at Havelina Stadium. Humboldt State's in town. Get ready for a, a big win tonight by your Havelinas. We're just getting underway here on Havelina Showtime on KDF Television. We'll have more for you right after this quick timeout. Hello, I'm Phil Neeson with Neeson Chevrolet in Kingsville. We see people from all over South Texas coming to Neeson Chevrolet because we have the largest section of Chevys, Buicks, and GMCs in South Texas at the absolute best prices. We treat our customers with honesty and respect. No high pressure or hassle here, just good, honest deals. The best selection, the best prices, huge rebates, 0% financing are at Neeson Chevy, Buick GMC in Kingsville. You'll find more than a great education here. You'll find friendships that last a lifetime. Thanks to our family-like living learning communities. Like Turner Hall, the men's dorm where music students enjoy their own basketball court, grill, big screen TV, and more. And Bishop Hall, where female musicians have their own volleyball court, lobby, and study room. Live and work with others who share your goals at Texas A&M University Kingsville, the home of Havelina Pride. Today's employers are looking for employees with the ability to lead, think analytically, plan strategically, and solve problems. The MBA online program at Texas A&M University Kingsville can provide all that from the privacy of your own home. Graduates said they had a 38% return on their investment after only one year and a 50% return after two years. Our 30 credit hour program features accounting, finance, management, marketing, economics, and business. With classes held year round, why wait? Sign up today. You can count on the folks at Blake Full and Wider to treat you like they treat their friends. With respect. Because it's about you. No high pressure. Just good, solid people helping you determine what's right for your budget and your lifestyle. I'm Brenda, and when you're looking for a new car or truck, Blake Full and Wider's got what matters. Friendly folks looking out for you. Blakeful and Wider, Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Kingsville. Have we got a showtime seen here on KDF television every Saturday morning at 1130. You're home for Havelina Athletics. You know who this young man is sitting next to me, Coach David Calloway, the head coach of the Havelina's Coach. How you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? It's game day. It Got a game, game coming day. up here in a few hours. What are, what are your thoughts as you just a few hours away from kicking off the season? Well, we're definitely excited to get it on the way. Uh, we had a spirited preseason. 
got a good week of preparation, and uh, we're ready to get started today and kind of see how things turn out. You know, I, I know you're going to be anxious to get out there and see what your players can do. How do you think it will? the transition will go from the practice field to actual under the lights in game-like situation? What, as a coach, what's your gut feeling about that? Well, my gut feeling, we talk about big city, big lights. <laughs> you know, we're excited to get out there and get our opportunity to show Havelina Nation what we've been preparing for for this day, for week one. And uh, we're excited about the situation coming up this evening. All right, you get Humboldt State. That's a team I don't know a whole lot about. I'll be honest. You know, never really heard about them until you guys put them on your schedule. What, what do you know about those guys? Well, they're coming off a tough season last year uh, due to injuries on both sides of the football. They had to start and running back who was an All-American in 2012, returning this year. Uh, he set out last year with a knee injury. So uh, offensively, they'll look to get the ball in his hands. Uh, they're starting a freshman at quarterback who put up a lot of uh, yards in, uh, in high school. And also have a returning receiver that was Offensive Player of the Year that played on USA national team that won a national uh, game over in Australia this summer. So the explosive on offense, um, same thing kind of happened to those guys defensively also with injuries. They're starting to return their best defensive back who was an all-conference player from them in 2012. Uh, their staff is still intact. Uh, they're no huddle octane offense, uh, try to get the ball downfield vertically. They'll do some of the same things we do schematically uh, defensively as far as playing a four-man front and a three-man front and, and try to just make you earn your way down the field. So it'll be a good challenge, but I think our guys are excited for it. Uh, staff has the right mindset. I think mm -hmm. we're all on the same page. So we're ready to get things kicked off this evening. All right, everybody wants to know the offense. Uh, have you picked a starting quarterback? You've had a lot of guys to choose from, a lot of talent out there. Mm -hmm. Uh, who's the leading candidate right now? Who do you think will Well, will going into tonight, tonight, Trey Mitchell will be the starting quarterback uh, okay. under center for us. Uh, we're excited about the option that he gives us as ability as a whole to go out and play as a team. You know, he does a good job, like I said last time, bridging the gap on all positions and all phases of the game, and we expect his leadership to carry over to his performance and perform at a high level. All right, junior college transfer from California. Correct. Uh, I, I watched him in practice, and we talked about, about the fact that uh, it's run first and throw, but he says he's got a he's pretty confident about throwing the ball downfield as well whenever it's called upon. Well, that's the thing about Trey that we liked in the recruiting process. He, you know, he has supreme confidence in his ability, uh, but he's not cocky about it. You know, he does a good job commanding our guys and uh, putting us in the best situation. So I think we'll be able to see that on display as we move forward throughout the season. All right, man, we're just a few hours away from the kickoff at Havlina Stadium against Humboldt State. Should be a lot of fun. Can't wait. Coach, good luck tonight, and we'll talk again next week, okay? Thank you. All right, Coach, David Calloway of your Texas A&M University, Kingsville, Havilinas. What a reminder, everybody. If you can't catch us on KDF Saturday morning at 1130, you can also watch this program online at 1 o'clock on www.tamuk.tv. Again, that's on Saturdays at 1 o'clock. And on Sunday afternoons, you can catch us on YouTube. That's always a lot of fun as well. Okay, we're joined now by a student from here at AM Kingsville, Sydney Hernandez. Hi, Sydney. How are you Hi, doing? I'm doing great. You're a senior here, right? Yes, You've sir. been in the program for a few years, and uh, you're going to help us report on AM Kingsville Athletics. It's such a beautiful experience to be able to be part of the Havelina Broadcast Network and be able to show the entire community what we do as students, not just for us and for our grades, but to showcase our beautiful athletics that we have going on. Now, we sent you out on an on assignment this week. We wanted you to go out and do a feature on one of the players. Who'd you find? Musa Mahmoud, great athlete, and he's just a great speaker, great athlete, great student all around. Those make good stories, without a doubt. All right, well, let's check out Sydney's story. How do you guys act off the field, not just on the field, but you guys need to be connected as well? Oh yeah, that that was some of, that was actually one of the biggest transitions going into this year's team is uh, how we you know how we actually hung out with each other outside of the team uh, outside of you know being up here uh, you know for football things. Uh, our team is a lot more close knit than it was last year. Uh, you don't have guys where it's like your little pools of people hanging out together, but more so we hang out collectively as a group. Um, I think that that's, that's something that, that uh, builds character outside of just you know being able to play alongside a guy that you know only when you got pads on, but more so actually get to know a, a person or know the man that you're playing with in depth outside of football. You know, it makes it makes a big difference as far as when you play with him on the field. It's a lot more passion there because you actually, you know, you have a relationship with this guy that you know him in depth. So I would say that's something that we uh, we emphasized a lot as far as hanging out. We had um, over the offseason, we had team building type things. Um, we even construct amongst the players, you know, we kind of hung out with each other, like little things over the summers, cookouts and stuff like that, just so we can bring each other closer. You know, that, that made a big difference. It makes a big difference. And just, you said that was one of the things that's changed this year. What else has changed? 
Uh, I would say um, the energy that we have this year has changed um, a lot. A lot of the team, you know, um, we're, my, we're a lot more positive about, you know, everything. Uh, we support each other more so this year. Um, I would say that um, it's not really more. So, it's not really a mindset as far as like, uh, oh, this person messed up. You know, this happened. You know, we, we we support each other. You know, even if you mess up, that's a part of the game. It happens. Nobody's perfect, so. Uh, our team this year, we're a lot more positive, and I think that goes that, that goes a lot to show about the things that we've done this summer, the things that we've done in the off season. We're able to support each other, and, you know, stay stay on each other's back, you know, as far as what we expect. Everybody is on the same page. Uh, I think everybody has bought into the system, and with that being said, you know, that makes us move forward collectively as a group. Okay, and what about the community? That's kind of a little bit confused about what happened last season, and they're kind of convinced that it's going to go the same route. What would you tell them? Um, I would say that uh, last year is last year. You know, uh, I, you can't you can't really stop anybody um, from believing what you know what they feel. But at the end of the day, the only people that really knows, you know, what we expect in depth are the people that's in you know that's actually doing it. Um, I would say the only thing that that they can see is just come out and we taking a game at a time. You know, um, our expectations are, are probably higher than what people expect us to perform at because we know the work that we put in, we know the hours that we put in. Um, we know how we, the you know, the struggle that we that we went through, you know, collectively as a group, like I said once before. But, you know, uh, from a community standpoint, only thing that they can do, you know, that I feel is important is continue to support the Havelinas. You know, at the end of the day, we're the ones that's going to play. You know, people got to support us and believe in us like we believe in ourselves. So we take it a game at a time. Some people just see you guys as straight athletes and they don't understand. You guys have personal life. You have education to go on. You do have you all are human as well. So what would you like to tell them, you know, to make sure that they know we're not just the guys in the field that you see. We're actually, we're your students. We're your neighbors, et cetera. I would say, um, you know, it, it, just respect us as if you would respect anyone else. Um, a lot, uh, well, not a lot, but our entire team, you know, it's, it's, it's tough being a student athlete, regardless if you're just playing football. You know, you have a, you have your personal life like you were saying. So. I would say that it's, it's more so, I think people kind of hold athletes to a different standard because of, you know, the, the type of things that you carry as far as, you know, uh, being able to play sports, you know, being able to represent the university, you know, as a whole. So I, I would just say, um, just respect people, you know, just respect this. Um, even if the season doesn't go accordingly, you know, regardless, you know, I'm just hypothetically speaking, even if it doesn't go accordingly, still respect the student athletes for what they do, the time that they put in. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very strenuous to, to be a student athlete. So. You know, I would just say just respect it and if support any, us. If anyone knows about that, it's you, right? I heard you played baseball. Yes. So what was that like playing sports? Oh, man, that was, it was tough. Um, I would do spring uh, spring football certain days, uh, had weights still, and do spring baseball, and I was taking 18 hours. Um, I would say my schedule was, was very tough, uh, and it, it took a lot out of me just to, you know, just to wake up consistently to do that, you know, to get in the rhythm and do that. But I would say, that, you know, it's, it's what I signed up for. You know, I don't really – I don't really think about it as far as like, oh, my schedule's tough. I got to do this because at the end of the day, everything that I do is a privilege for me to be to be here and to be playing a sport that I love to do. Well, two sports that I love to play, and you know, I think it's just that I got the opportunity to do it. You know, I signed up for that. So at the end of the day, you know, I just hold myself to that type of standard that I got to get it done. You know, nobody's gonna get it done for me. I got to get it done. And we're in a production-based society, so you know, you got to produce. Sydney, great story. I have some inter inter very informative information there. Uh, what was it like interviewing him? It's great to get the personal aspect. Sometimes we overlook them and just see, oh, they're just athletes. They're students also, and they definitely have a personal side to them. Of course, they're human. Sometimes we're just like, oh, what we see on the field, they're just little players. No, I mean, they're great guys. They have everything that you know, we expect from them. How do you think he'll do this year? I think he's going to do really good. Yeah. I, I have a lot of high expectations. It's my last year. They need, a, they need to step up this season. All right, Sydney, thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. Look forward to your reporting throughout this fall semester. Okay? Thank you. Sydney Hernandez, thank you very much. We have a whole lot more. We're just halfway through the program. Back with more of Having a Showtime right after this. Hello, I'm Phil Neeson with Neeson Chevrolet in Kingsville. We see people from all over South Texas coming to Neeson Chevrolet because we have the largest section of Chevys, Buicks, and GMCs in South Texas at the absolute best prices. We treat our customers with honesty and respect. No high pressure or hassle here, just good, honest deals. The best selection, the best prices, huge rebates, 0% financing are at Neeson Chevy, Buick, GMC in Kingsville.
As the most established university in all of South Texas, we've learned that change is good. And there's never been a better time to check out Texas A&M University Kingsville. Thanks to our state-of-the-art new dorms with plenty of space for studying and hanging out. A recreation center with everything you'd expect in a brand new gym. And our new dining hall, packed with delicious stuff to keep students going. And the changes don't stop there. Texas A&M University Kingsville, the home of Havelina Pride. Today's employers are looking for employees with the ability to lead, think analytically, plan strategically, and solve problems. The MBA online program at Texas A&M University Kingsville can provide all that from the privacy of your own home. Graduates said they had a 38% return on their investment after only one year and a 50% return after two years. Our 30 credit hour program features accounting, finance, management, marketing, economics, and business. With classes held year round, why wait? Sign up today. You can count on the folks at Blakeful and Whiter to treat you like they treat their friends, with respect, because it's about you, no high pressure, just good solid people helping you determine what's right for your budget and your lifestyle. I'm Brenda, and when you're looking for a new car or truck, Blakeful and Whiter's got what matters. Friendly folks looking out for you. Blakeful and Whiter, Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Kingsville. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Havlina to Showtime right here on KDF TV. We're here every Saturday morning, 1130. This is your home for Havlina Athletics. We're all excited today because we have our first football game of the season. Humboldt State's in town. We're going to play at 7 o'clock tonight at Havlina Stadium. So uh, you obviously have plenty of time to get out here later this evening. Plenty of tickets available. Uh, tailgating is going on right now, so uh, head on out there and, and check it out. It's going to be a great day. And we're joined now by another special guest. Gary Zacker. Gary, thanks for being here, man. Yes. Title, I know, game day promoter, annual mm -hmm. giver. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me what your official title is. I'm annual giving and game day promotions coordinator. Okay. Now, you're holding a special jersey in your hand. Tell me, show, yes. show our viewers what you got. Yes. Uh, our first home game, uh, we will be auctioning these off. These will be game warm jerseys, um, which have the old the Porky logo on them as well. Um, that will be auctioned off during the games that um, they actually are online right now uh, with, uh, with bids going also. Thank you very much. Yes. We appreciate it. Again, game time coming up at 7 o'clock tonight. We're not that far away. It should be a wonderful ball game, and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it as well. What about Humboldt State? What kind of football team are they? Are they good? Uh, are we going to beat them? Can we beat them? Of course we can, but we're going to do some strategizing here when we come back and we're going to talk with Coach Martinez to get his thoughts, a scouting report on Humboldt State. We'll do that right after this. Hello, I'm Phil Neeson with Neeson Chevrolet in Kingsville. We see people from all over South Texas coming to Neeson Chevrolet because we have the largest section of Chevys, Buicks, and GMCs in South Texas at the absolute best prices. We treat our customers with honesty and respect. No high pressure or hassle here, just good, honest deals. The best selection, the best prices, huge rebates, 0% financing are at Neeson Chevy, Buick GMC in Kingsville. You'll find more than a great education here. You'll find friendships that last a lifetime. Thanks to our family-like living learning communities. Like Turner Hall, the men's dorm where music students enjoy their own basketball court, grill, big screen TV, and more. And Bishop Hall, where female musicians have their own volleyball court, lobby, and study room. Live and work with others who share your goals at Texas A&M University Kingsville, the home of Havelina Pride. Today's employers are looking for employees with the ability to lead, think analytically, plan strategically, and solve problems. The MBA online program at Texas A&M University Kingsville can provide all that from the privacy of your own home. Graduates said they had a 38% return on their investment after only one year and a 50% return after two years. Our 30 credit hour program features accounting, finance, management, marketing, economics, and business. 
With classes held year-round, why wait? Sign up today. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Havlina Showtime, your home for Havlina Athletics. We're here every Saturday morning at 1130 on KDF-TV. We're joined now by Jaime Martinez, the offensive line coach. Hi, Coach. How, you How are you? Doing good. You're also another recruiting coordinator. You're Mr. Everything, actually. But let's talk about scouting Humboldt State. They're in town. Big game tonight. Yes, sir. What kind of ball club do they have? Well, like Coach Callaway said earlier, I mean, they, they've got some returners that didn't play last year. Uh, I think those are the guys that are going to bring the the spark that they need. You know, they had a rough season last year, so they're going to have some guys that are going to be able to come in and do some things for them. Uh, defensively, you know, they really, I think they really cater to their defensive line and uh, their linebackers are pretty good. So, um, you know, but we see their, their kind of uh, defense, you know, almost every day in practice with what our, what our uh, defense does. So I think we'll be okay. Do they run a wide open offense or what kind of offense? Do they like to throw the ball, run the ball? You know, I think they like to run, they, they like to run the football. Uh, but they'll uh, they'll try to throw it too. You know they're not afraid to let it, let it get out there in the air and um, not afraid to throw an interception. They'll they'll get it out there and but they'll also like to you know pound the football. Humboldt State. They're in Northern California, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so they're they're a team that's probably used to uh, cooler weather. They'll be coming down here to South Texas. They're in for a rude awakening, aren't they? For sure. You know, <laughs> and I think our guys were um, pretty uh, kind of. You know, they kind of had to get adjusted to as well. You know, it was it was really hot. You know, this this camp and you know, but they've kind of acclimated to it really well. So I think we're you know we'll have the hand up on that part. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being here. You going to join us every every week for this? We can do this. Uh, you going to sign the big contract today so we can have you on the show every week, right? You bet. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Humboldt State again in town. Kickoff tonight, seven o'clock. Hadley Stadium. We're back next Saturday with highlights of the game. Uh, player reaction, coach reaction, should be a lot of fun. We'll see you next Saturday, and we'll also see you at the ball game tonight. Well, that's a wrap for Havelina Showtime. You can always catch us here on KDF TV Saturday morning at 1130. See you next week.